So my cannons work on a rotator now. So they can go any direction they want. Uh, this is because in the blueprint they are n the top parts are now connected to the sphere here. So their direction and their rotation are all based on that. So each one that is currently there, if the sphere is rotated, will stay in the same position because the sphere is directly at zero, just a little bit higher up. As for the volcano, the volcano works, if I find one, this guy works. If you go over the collision box, <coughs> it'll send you to the top and launch you out. One of the problems was that if you go over the top, uh, you'll get stuck and there's no way out. So we made the player platform that they stand on smaller so the ball can roll uh, around it and they'll land in the sphere and get pushed out to the top. Then uh, the design team, I made it so that this arrow here shows you the direction of the face you're going to launch the ball. So you can change the up and down direction because you'll need it to be somewhat high. Then you can change the direction along the Y and along the X. So 50, 90, minus 90. You get the point. And then the cannon strength is how hard you'll be launched towards that arrow. So the code looks a little bit like this. So we'll get, if you land in the box, it'll set your velocity to zero, so the ball won't be currently moving. Uh, it'll then put you in the location where the player location is, so this little ball here. Then, after a small little delay, uh, after some of the animations played, <coughs> uh, it will Spawn the boom, which is uh, an effect, and it will set it to active and then add the impulse of the ball towards the arrow, letting the sounds where uh, needed. But I didn't work on the animations or the sound. That is how my cannon and my volcano are currently set up. So the cannon will shoot towards this arrow uh, and the arrow is uh, will change depending on how the strength of the cannon because the cannon only wants to shoot one way whereas the volcano wants to shoot multiple ways.